Ladies and gentlemen, watch Dr. Gus Greenfield. All oh, from the beautiful Mosquito Lake Creek. Here's your host, Dr. Gus Greenfield. All right, all right, all right. Thanks, bitches. Man, I gotta give a huge shout out to all these new subscribers. I've been falling behind, I've been busy. What's my old saying? Busier than a Tijuana whorehouse on free burrito day. There's a lightning bug flying around in here. Anyways, Memorial Day weekend. Let's all remember, some gave all. You woke motherfuckers. You'd never be able to understand that shit. Uh, huge shout out to all the subscribers and the people that left a comment. Uh, if you don't know, at the end of each month, the last weekend of a month, we put all the comments together and mix them up in a bowl and pull out a winner. And... This month's winner is Teresa St. Jane. Teresa wins a uh, Busted Luck Technologies coffee mug. And, uh, and an autograph car signed by me. I think the plastic's coming off of that a little bit, so. Whatever, take it out and play with it. Teresa, I think Hodge, you can get a hold of me if you need to get in touch with me and give me your coordinates and I'll send this to you. Thanks for leaving a comment. I'd say 90% of these are for sale that I show. Some of the ones today, about half of them are for sale. All right. I know you've been waiting for this one forever. But anyone else, you'll have to guess and see what we're talking about. I know Kenny's been waiting for a Forever in a day for that one. I'm kind of like down here so you can see it. <sighs> Our main main people uh, always comment. Scorpio Love Smith, Teresa St. J. Rocco. There's there's quite a few people that comment. Last one of you, and and thanks to everybody that commented. And your name did go in the draw. All right, should we adjust this now since Kenny got to see his little thing back there? <laughs> Man, I swear this place is haunted out here too. <sighs> rest in peace, Howard. Rest in peace, Linda. Rest in peace, Mark Jones. We're all subscribers of the channel. All right, let's get down to it here. Avoid the clap, Dr. Gus Greenfield. All right, we're starting off with the 55th anniversary. This is number six of six, a 2015 Dodge Challenger. And there she is in all its glare. Wow. I always got this glare out here this time of night. You know, the glare's always there anyway. It's number six of six uh, Dodge Challenger. These, let's see. Oh yeah, gold bottom on there too. Check it out. Um, and there's all six of the cars right there. I started this vlog earlier and I didn't realize I had the the um, radio on. So I didn't want to get in trouble for that. So I had to start back over again. So maybe I'll add some of that in there. Oh my gosh, I'm yawning now. Here's number five of six, a 66 Chevy Nova. Oh, that's a beautiful car right there. Look at that. Can you see it? It's hard to see. There she is. Look at that bad boy. All right, there's the bottom. Another goldie. This is the 55th anniversary set. Don't get too excited because I only have the first half. Porky Ridge, which got me most of these cars here, uh, said there's another part coming out to them. It's like they do two halves. They did that with the blue ones, and they did that with the uh, the orange ones, I think, too. All right, this is a Range Rover Classic, number four of six. Amazing that these were in order. Uh, four of six here. 
This is weird, huh? I don't, there you go. See, you can see it pretty good there. 55th anniversary. Another gold bottle. Bad, bad lighting out here. Number two of six. Okay, we skipped one. 92 BMW M3. Okay. Can you see it? Kind of. There you go. Gotta be number one of six. I know why. I know why. I got skipped because this is a 96 Nissan 180 SX Type. Type what? Type X. Type X. Alright. Where is it? Yeah, I know my fingernails are all dirty. I've been working outside all day long. Alright. I meant to give myself a little manicure before I did this, but I forgot. The one that they're calling the chase car is... Number three of the six. A Volkswagen T1 GTR. Number three of six. I guess this is the hard one to get. Number three of six. That's the chase car I heard. So, let's see if. Okay. So there's that. That's your, so far, the 55th anniversary collection. Yeah, so anyway, this place being haunted. And then I got this big workbench in there. It tipped over. It was just like, oh, well, the floor collapsed, right? What's weird, though, there's a cabinet up above, and the wall didn't collapse in there, but the whole top of the cabinet, and it's like those old-fashioned, old-fashioned steel cabinets, like people used to have them in their kitchen, or in their basement kitchen, you know? But the whole top of them all cleared out, and it's like, oh, dude, I got somebody broke into the clubhouse and ripped me off. But it's like everything there is thrown out on the floor. Doors are wide open, and everything's just completely cleared out of there, like. So I figured it's freaking Howard haunting me. I even brought a magnifying glass out here with an upside down cross on it. I was gonna bless the place. And it's like, I moved some stuff around so Kenny could see his thing. Kenny? Leave a comment down below if you notice what's different back there. There's a couple weird things back here going on. The Duke, he's always back there. Alabama license plate. Anyway, magnifying glass with the cross on it. So it's like, I know we're being, uh, we're being haunted out here or something. So, and I was like, what the hell do you wanna stay out here for? He's like, well, and this is when we still had the horses and stuff. He's like, uh, he goes, oh, I love the smell of it out here. I was like, what? Cat piss and horse shit? You love that smell? He's like, no, the hay and all that. Okay, well, he wanted to sleep up in the loft, which is above here. Well, somewhere in the middle of the night, he must have forgot where he was, and he stepped off the loft, which is about 10 feet in the air, and he fell down on all kinds of, uh, like, attachments for a, for a, you know, like a gardening tractor. He fell on these, these blades and these hose, and, oh, this pointed shit. He just fell down on all that shit. So, but that was a good story. He was laying out there, he's like, Help me! Nobody, nobody. He didn't find him the next day. He came, I think he came in later, maybe, and slept on the couch or something. But I told him to come in, but he wanted to sleep out in the barn like some kind of idiot. Anyway. We shouldn't really speak of the dead, I guess, right? Um, here's one that I can't stand. So this one's definitely for sale. It's a 2004 first edition. Fat Backs Mustang GT 2004. Number 41 of 100. Group it. Group it, contact me. Put that in a, a bundle. If you want that. It's a I mean it's a first edition, but I can't stand these dang things. Yeah, if it was like a well, I don't know. It's a, it is a new for whatever, but I'll sell this one. I will definitely sell this. Let me put this back over here. I'm gonna put it with Teresa's Barbie doll card. Alright, next. A sting rod. <laughs> Have you guys seen a sting rod? I don't even know. What is this? 2000. So this must be 2011. Short card. Sting rod. And it's from across the pond because you got the little choking dude on there. But there's the sting rod. All right. This is why we this is like our regular program, so. Uh, the Shadow Jet 2. Hmm. That's interesting. One of four cars. Ooh, this is a 1998. Um, I don't know. 
Anybody ever run one of them down the track? Got a tempo here. Oh, I found a use for our cardboard that that idiot sent me. There we go. What was that? Did we get her? No? What the hell? What the hell is reflect that reflecting off of? I got the light covered up. That is so weird. Alright, anyway, there's the shadow jet. Shadow jet 2! Everybody knows that knows me, I'm a big shadow jet fan. It's my only fantasy car that I like. This one looks fast. And these are kind of, I don't know, the jury's still out on this one with me. They look kind of cool, but they look kind of stupid, too. Uh, the Flying Aces Series Dogfighter in black. In black. Look at the front of it. No, that's the back of it. All right, there we go. There's the front. And this one is, you guys already know this stuff. Uh, this is another 98. These ones, these 98s might have come from uh, Tim from Hot Wheels House, the original Hot Wheels House. I'm going to be the new Hot Wheels House, because whoever stole his name, we don't care for that guy anyway. So thanks, Tim. I think this might be part of your collection. This one's from 2004. This would be the uh, Tag Rise Boombox. Okay. Here's one. Of, this one here's probably for sale. There you go. Boombox. All right. Zoom in on that. There's the back of that card. There's something on there. Something important on there. What is this? Of course, collect them all. Boombox, 1988 Cougar, and School Bus, Fandango, and Tropical are part of that set. So we'll have to remember that. We have to remember that one, I can tell you. 2001 number collector number 138 the vulture this has like a fat sparkling blue color on it that one might cost you a few bucks because I've, I've never seen that color before so we'll just keep that in mind i wheel and deal i make bargains and bundles and I'll work with you. If you don't think it's worth that much, then I won't sell it to you. Coolest to collect. The second win. Open air speedster. This looks like something that Speed Racer would buy. How about that? And that's a 1997 black wall. I don't know if I'll be giving that one up. Look at them dirty fingernails, man. That's from working outside all day long. Sorry about that, ladies. I know. I know you like the clean fingernails and the... Stuff like that, but I really have been working outside all day. That's gross. That's gross. I hate having dirty fingernails, but I've been burning shit. And... 2000 first edition. Number 26 of 36 of these cards. I think I have a bunch of these. I don't know if I have this color. The shoe box. But I know from Dawn and stuff, I've gotten a bunch of these somewhere. So this could possibly be for sale. Contact me. Leave a comment. You know, don't put your personal information out there, but leave a comment. I'll comment back to you, and then we'll get together. Or this is called Street Beast. And a lovely, like, aqua blue, and this is a 91. Aqua blue and white. See how some of them older ones, they got like a little yellowing on there. It doesn't, the, you, there's not that much of a glare. But that's a nice one. I've never seen that one before. The back's pretty cool too. It's got the, you can tell them older ones, whatever they were doing with that card. It's got like the darker back on it. And last, but not least, and this one is not for sale. Yeah, everything's for sale, but this one here is like not as available. I think this came out in 2000 because because it says 2000, number 107, and the copyright is 1999. This is the 1970 Chevrolet. Look at that. But best yet, check out the tempos. Look at them stripes on that bad boy. Yeah. That is a nice car. That one almost reminds me of one that... Um, do I have all gold ones? I, don't, I didn't have one with the stripe on it. 
Want to see the bottom of it? In case you want to. There you go. In case you want to zoom in on that. Here's the back of that. There's your code up there. All right, I think that's it. Congratulations to Teresa St. J. Contact me or have Raji, Haji, Haji Raji contact me. And uh, we'll try to get a few more of these out uh, every few days or so, all right? And you know what? That I, I know what you're talking about, Gullardi, the ghoul. I, yeah, I guess I do kind of. Maybe that's where that came from. You know you're showing your age, Teresa, when you... Uh, come up with stuff like that but you still look like that you still look like you're 25 years old all right for a bunch of luck technologies i'm dr gus greenfield kenny <laughs> Derek, what's missing back here what's changed hey, there's an old gas can right there and these are for sale too if anybody wants one of these i know i know a lot of hot wheel guys are into this golf stuff but i have no idea how much that would cost to send that or or if we were allowed to even send gas cans you know um i probably can okay for the duke in bust of luck technologies i'm dr gus greenfield uh, shout out to Porky Ridge and uh, Dig Dug Virtue. And uh, where's our Sunday Night Pinks, Randy? We're looking forward to that. I'm Dr. Gus Greenfield, and I approve this message. Peace out. Thank you. Goodbye.